So we have a question from Micah. And Micah says, I've moved away to school, but I wanna learn how to drive. How can I practice when my family are hundreds of kilometers away? Well, that's a great question. And I'm really glad that you realize that practicing is all part of learning how to drive. Secondly, taking professional lessons is a fantastic idea. You're gonna learn the proper way to drive and be successful with your driving test. But here's the thing to keep in mind. You do need to practice. You're gonna learn new information each time you're gonna have a lesson. Practicing that information is key to help you for the next lesson when you learn even more information. But what do you do? Well, speak to your friends that you have on campus, uh, where you're staying. You've met people over the years, so one of the things is you want to go out with someone who has their G license. That's one of the requirements here in Ontario. You have to have a G license. Another requirement is that you have to have four years driving experience. Well, you don't have to have four years with a G license, but your G2 and G both count as experience. So if someone's had their G2 for, let's say, two years and their G license for two years, there's your four years of experience. Now, if you take a look at their driver's license, they'll have four dots under their picture. So those four dots are going to let you know that they have four years experience. And that's going to work in most cases. So uh, hunt around. Maybe it's a friend of a friend. And sometimes they're, they're a little reluctant about taking out someone with a novice driver. So only practice the things that you fully understand, but you're not good at yet. Things that you don't fully understand how to do, I wouldn't practice that with a friend. They're not equipped with the, an extra brake. They're not experienced enough to necessarily help you, but you wanna to practice to build the habit of doing it subconsciously. But uh, maybe not some of your current friends, but like I said, a friend of a friend, maybe a friend of a friend of a friend. The other thing too is that they might be a little concerned about the fuel they're using. So entice them and offer to pay for fuel while they're on the car with you. Just offer them 10 bucks to go out for an hour. 10 bucks an hour is pretty reasonable and uh, they're not gonna be out of pocket for that. And some really wouldn't mind the extra 10 bucks in their pocket. So there is a way around it. Um, check out the notice boards, check out the community area at your college or university where you're staying. And maybe there are people who's offering to take out new drivers so they can practice. Cause it's not new to actually learn how to drive when you are hundreds of kilometers away. It's very doable. You just have to make an effort to find out how you're gonna practice. So thanks for the question and good luck.